they're not going to clean. They're not going to clean shit. But you just told me I got to move because they're going to clean. But they're not going to move. And that makes you a liar. You swore an oath to God you wear a uniform. You do not be a liar. Don't be a liar. What are you going to pick up, brother? Tell me here, what are you going to clean up? You going to pull out a broom? No, because I do that. You going to pick up the trash? No, because I do that. What the fuck are you guys going to do? Tell me. I need to know what your cleanup crew is about to clean up. I can't wait to see. Hard I mean, they're not PDs. They have a little more honor than they do. So the Telling us to leave so they can clean when the they're not going right to clean now, right? shit. Yeah. It's yeah. pissing me off. with a fucking dust pan, swept it out with just a little tiny broom. I know what you guys are doing, and I know it's not you. I know. Your coffee? No, the guitar. The guitar. because I'm not riding it and by California state law you have to throw my bike in the trash can. Trash. Tell me that because the last pig told me that and I can't wait to hear it again. Is this your water? No. But because I will do more than you ever thought you ever fucking would be. out of it so we can get these cocksucking liars to come in here walk around not do a fucking thing do we move do we comply you gonna sweep it out bro no just told me you're gonna sweep it out bro get the fucking broom get to sweeping this shit out so i don't have to do it because i'm the one who's gonna do it when you don't do it, but he just told me to get the fuck out of here, so you can do it. I'm confused. You guys confuse me. Your godly greatness confuses the fuck out of me. I'd like to see you pick up a piece of debris or something. Anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do a goddamn thing. Cleanup personnel's making 17 an hour. Cops are up at around 35 an hour. So you got you stupid assholes are spending thousands of dollars to pay these motherfuckers to not do a fucking thing. But they look good, but they don't do a fucking thing. Hey, did you guys go over there and get the fucking meth dealer out of the bathroom? Good enough? You won't, you liar. You're not going to do a goddamn thing. Tomorrow night, all bathrooms will be filled with meth addicts. 
you fuckers will not deal with. But you'll tell me to move. You can clean. But you will not take care of crime in your park that you swore to California you would defend. Alright, sir. Thank you. Get your ass to work. Alright, sir. Do your fucking job, pig. Alright. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, make an arrest. Deal with the crime. Uh, 
citizens of
Dropping a ball, that's not working. Say they care, 
<laughs> when they're there. But in the morning, you ain't got a cigarette or what about to eat. That's not right. They're going to be on camera. And all the concrete is old. And plants and animals grow. And goddess, you can bring the lambs. You bring the otters. You bring the bison. Without no, what, what is the future gonna be like if we do not teach the youth how to be leaders in the future? Somebody gotta do it. Cause a lot of these kids don't even, listen, I went to the post office, the man didn't even know how to send a letter. He didn't know how to put a stamp on a letter and send it from the post office. Man, wait a minute, hold on. Is that our next president? We get a whole bunch of trouble. And that's not part of the truth. It's very honest to God's truth. I had somebody put, I gave him some chili. They give out chili. It comes in a, the bag, you know a bag of chili. He put the whole bag of chili in the microwave. He said, man, the chili, something wrong with the chili won't cook. It keeps sparking. It, it did what, what it do? I said, sir, just take it out the bag and find it won't spark. He said, no, I never thought about that.
Is here. I moved your stuff. Didn't Thank you so much. I got you. I got you. You're in a good you space right now. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, yeah. Would Would you be willing to recap the horrible incident and whatever you? Yeah, like I don't cry think? anymore when I talk about it. So yeah, I could. Do you want to sit on my board? Uh, no. Fine. Yeah. Okay, my goddess. Um. So as as you were sleeping, um, first I want to describe, like, you're in Venice Beach. There's nowhere to get cover. There's just palm trees. Um, there's also nowhere to find clean water. And the bathrooms, the, air, the sinks or areas to wash up are out in the open. And literally with, like, nowhere to hide. And I'm guessing that you're, you're longing to be closer to nature with eating needs for grounding, finding tranquility, um, connection to self, moving within, as well as connection with others in a tribe, in a space where there can, and I've seen your learning and growth mindset, you just wanted to meet your needs for rest. And in the scarcity of everything, you were able to find the bathroom, which you felt, I've offered you to stay at the temple, but I really honor like your independence. And you're like, no, like, I'm good. I just, I just want to feel safe. I want to feel um, like in a space where I'm not going to be bothered and woken up. And I want to be able to get good rest. Yeah. Now, what happens 
to a goddess when she's woken up at two in the morning by an ice cold shower from a fire hose. Well, the, like the emotions, what's happening in your body, the it shock. It traumatized me. I mean, I don't know if that's normal or like, it's just, if you really think about it, it's just getting water, but like, if you really, if, I, if it's how it happened is what it, what traumatized What did you tell us? Well, like I was, it was like, I was in one of the bathrooms that wasn't able to be opened from the outside. So since they couldn't open, usually they just open the door on you. When, in, like, no matter, no matter what you're doing, they'll just open the door on you and expose you, you know, so that's already fucked up in itself. And I was in one of the bathrooms where you couldn't open it from the outside. So, it was, since they couldn't get me out, I would, I would try to just stay quiet to just stay in there, but they ended up, um, water like wetting me from the first they started at the floor and my talk about how they were banging on the door and oh yeah that it was just jarring. now i can't hear bangs no more on the door because I, I think it's the cops it, it, i started getting scared and like emotional but yeah like they bang really hard on the door like and what are like, they saying it, it feels like it's gonna break it's like lapd um, oh that's alarming yeah they're like lapd get out or um or something like so it's that. like the enforcers are here. It's uh -huh. not like, hi, dear uh -huh. heart. Uh -huh. It's time for us to clean the like bathroom. They treat us like we're criminals. Would you be willing to come out? Like, here's um, here's somewhere nice that you could stay next to this mulberry tree. Yeah. And yeah. if you have to go potty, just stick a hole and bury it. Yeah. We talked about making you a garden. Yeah. So okay, I want to talk about that. But first, goddess, <laughs> if you can look at the holes up there. Is that where they sprayed you under? That's, yeah, um, first they did it on the bottom. And my, they sprayed the bottom too? That's where they started. Oh, yeah. And they my flooded her out. My they bedding is on the floor. My bedding know. is on the floor, so all my bedding got wet and everything. Oh, I tried saving as much as I could. The power of my love continue. My, I, my, my speaker and my phone almost got wet, but I got it really quick, so... Or else... Yeah, they could have ruined destroyed. your devices, they could have destroyed, and they wet all of your bedding, yeah. so that you had to walk around in the freezing cold. And if you had laid down, then you could have been sick from the elements. You wanted to dry, so you walked around, and even if you did go to sleep, your bedding was wet, and it certainly wasn't going to dry in time for you to get any rest. I care. No one floods out my goddess. No one floods out my goddess. I send a care bear stand a golden bubble of love because imagine how much pain they must have been in to be able to do that. Yeah, that's why oh, I think the Duba sweets. Talk about it without crying for a oh, while. Okay, and then talk about their reaction. Were they being, were they melting and like, oh my gosh, you're all wet. Your nope. stuff, they, let us help you get your stuff out. Six, they saw me pushing on my cart and I was all wet. And they just started laughing, and like high-fiving each other. Like, they were like, high-fiving? Like, like, yeah. You told me all of this before. I'm just. Well, yeah, because I couldn't really. It was hard to talk about. I'm just like. Ugh. But now I feel a lot better about the situation. Oh, you went before. You were falling apart. You were yeah, absolutely was, was so, humiliated. Yeah, because I'm the only one that's done that too. I haven't seen him do it again. You know so what? Sit down, little girl. Like, uh, you know what I'm here. wondering? Sit. If, if they had really cared, like if you had come out of the bathroom and they were like, oh, there's a person in here and you're soaking wet, we just figured we'd just clean it like this. We, like what if it was just like an accident? Like clearly it wasn't, but I'm saying like, stay with me for a sec. What if you came out and they were like, and, they, and you guys all hugged and then cried like oh, you're all wet and then and then you stop hugging and they go we're all wet and then you all start laughing and then together they're like oh all of them take turns caressing your forehead because they can't believe how sad they are that they, that happened and then you're finally like okay you guys I just got I'm I'm so loved out. Like I've gotten so much love. Oh yeah. How can I support you? And then they're like, Well you could support us by living in a garden that will grow together. And then all of a sudden 
all these people come out with bags of soil and they're like whoosh and they dump them and then you're just sitting there it's surrounded by all the soil and all of a sudden all these hunky guys come carrying all different fruit trees and then all these gorgeous girls and it's all your girl squad and they're like yeah girl and they're all carrying different top shelf marijuana plants and they just plant them down and the magic of the universe makes it so they just are automatically planted and then you're the golden goddess of your own garden so you don't have to sleep in a dirty bathroom anymore and they tell you listen you can't Please don't sleep in a bathroom. We didn't mean to wet you with the hose. <laughs> no, we're wet too. <laughs> but, but listen, you got a garden now. Look, will you live in your garden? Will you go in there only if you'll live in there and you won't sleep in the bathroom anymore? Yes, and the marijuana plants are, are oh my God, there's this new technology where we take electric eels so they light up and you can turn them on and it will heat you. Whoa. Go on, enjoy your new garden. <gasps> Yay! You don't have to sleep in the bathroom anymore. I can sleep on, on grass. <laughs> no, you're gonna sleep in a garden like a goddess. You're too lovable for anything else. And if you want something okay. different, you let me know because you are the authority on what's, what you want. I just say garden because I feel like that's what we need. We need more gardens. And it's not for just you, my goddess. I know you'll share with all the animal friends and bug friends too.